Hey everyone, Canadian Trucker here. Today we are in Long Lock, Ontario, way up in the north. It's cold, snowy, typical winter's day. Um, yeah, Long Lock's in the middle of nowhere. Google it. I'll put the name of it right here because it's not, doesn't sound the way it's, well, yeah, it does. Anyway, it's there. Google it, middle of nowhere. That's where we are today for lunch. Lithuanian Menu 7. Everybody's been reviewing Lithuanian lately. These, probably my favorite rations overall. And uh, I haven't had one in a long time. So we're having menu seven. What is it? Uh, stewed pork with buckwheat porridge. Yeah. Darren, or. So we have our main stewed pork with buckwheat mash. The meal is 240 grams, 100 grams of that is meat. Got our FRH. You also get a little heating stove, three fuel tabs, pack of matches, and then in there you also have a wet wipe and one of the worst spoons you'll ever get in your life. Got a pack of almonds. You got those lovely crackers. Little accessory pack. We got lemon drink, tea, a pack of sugar. We also got strawberry jam and our little chocolate bars. This, since this is a year and a half past, you know, its best date, um, the chocolate in Lithuania is pretty well how you tell if a ration's good or not. These are pretty sensitive. If this is crap, probably wasn't stored well. Should be fine. We'll see. That's everything. Oh, oh and we also got our little tiny zip tie. So we got our meal in with our heating pad. I always pull the heating pad out, shove the meal in, put the heating pad in behind it or however it works for you. Um, often if you try jamming the meal in, it's gonna buckle the heating pad. I don't know, might not work as well. We got our fill line, we'll add some water. About that much, maybe a little more getting fat I close it up probably too tight here this might just explode my face I'm putting it on the floor there you go. so our lemon drink kind of doesn't feel good consistency of a stick of chewing gum um, we'll give it a try you got to really look on here but it's 600 milliliters of water says so right there uh, Hard to see. Trust me, 600 milliliters of water, that's like 20 ounces. I see most people mix this with like four ounces. Um, it's not enough water. Trucker be thirsty. We're making every bit of that 600 mils. You know, I don't know that I'm gonna make that. Ah. Just a hassle to get that into the bottle. Actually, you know what? I have a cup sitting beside me. We'll put this in here. Okay, so we got most of that sticky mess in our cup here. Would you guys drink this? Or would you just let that slide? Say the hell with it. I'm gonna mix it. We'll see. Here's that crow buzzing around me. Must have seen us eating a good ration. So here's that spoon. They're uh, they're pretty weak. I don't want to mess with it too much because it will just bust. I figured we could try and stir this up. So we still got a lot of chunks in there. Most of it's mixed. We'll let that sit for a few more minutes. In the meantime, let's check out our almonds. You get about that many. Where are that many? Now aside from the chocolate, I always find nuts, any kind of nuts, especially peanuts or walnuts, but any kind of nuts, if your rations, you know, been aging and not so well, you'll taste it in the nuts. And those are perfect. No mustiness, dirtiness, anything. Tastes very fresh, unsalted, kind of like a raw almond or whatever. 
These are my favorite almonds in a ration. So the best buy on those were February 15th, 2021. So we're almost a year out of date and those are still fantastic. Take care of your rations to last forever. Damn near anyway. But the true test will be our chocolate. Rita, two little chocolate bars in here. Um, and these are just over the expiry. November 2nd, my grandpa's birthday actually. November 2nd, 2021. So these are only, you know, a little over two months past due. But one good day in the sun and these are shot for any kind of heat. Yeah. So those didn't turn out too good. These are probably bloomed all the way through. Actually, they're not. The inside is tip top. Just a little surface bloom, scratch that off, and it should be that color. It scared me for a second. Let's try that chocolate out. Very good. So as always, no idea what percent cacao it is. Um, it's not a real dark chocolate, but it's not really milk chocolate. Semi-sweet is how I always put this, like chocolate chips and a chocolate chip cookie. Now for a drink, it's almost all dissolved. That's better than I thought it was going to get. Go ahead and try that out. That ain't bad. Mild lemon, mostly just sugar water. Now I'd seen a comment. I can't remember whose video. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's been a lot of these rations been reviewed lately. Uh, someone left a comment that they put the chocolate in with the FRH, melt this stuff, cut a little hole, drizzle it over your almonds for chocolate covered almonds. Not a bad idea, but that's more than I feel like doing today. But I might try that sometime. I almost bet. Sue just reviewed the menu seven. I had three menus in my truck with me, two, nine, and seven. I already reviewed two and nine, so seven was the lucky one. Um, yeah, we got strawberry jam. Oh yeah, look at the color on that. We're just gonna try that with a spoon because we're not eating that, uh, those crackers. Jam's actually pretty firm, almost like a candy. Tastes just fine though. F Sue, for you, we're gonna dip our almond in with our jam. I ain't never seen anyone do that, but Sue, she doesn't eat cheese though, so this might be normal for her. Yeah, that's fine. Doesn't really do anything for me, but it's edible. Now, we're gonna take our chocolate and our jam. So what I do with honey, I dip the chocolate in with honey. And we're gonna put a couple almonds on the top. A little dessert megabyte. Oh yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. If you're really bored with your rations, um, give it a try, but yeah, whatever. I'm going to finish this jam off just with a spoon. See what I mean? It's just, it's not very jam-like. It's Maybe I shouldn't be eating this. There's no holes in it or anything. Okay, give her a shake. You don't want to knead this. You just want to mix all the oils and juices together. If you knead it, you're not going to be happy because you got your pork on one side, your barley mash or whatever on the other. I kind of want to keep them separate for now. Instantly that smell coming off is just takes me back to the first time I had a Lithuanian ration. I was in Casper, Wyoming in the Walmart parking lot. I'll still remember that. I think I had COVID at the time. It was quite a while back. Um, yeah, these all smell the same, taste similar. Yeah. 
there it is so like i said on the one side you have this pork patty it's like a pork sausage almost but it's not crazy spicy it's like not a sausage spice it's whatever your grandma used to cook when you were a kid that kind of spice break that up a bit and then on the other side is where we got our barley mash it's got carrots potatoes and barley I guess so you kind of mash them all up and then you mix them together I guess you could do it in the bag I wouldn't though some pork on its own oh yeah and some of our barley mash on its own it's so good Get to the last bite. No tea and sugar today. Hang on to that for another day. These crackers going in the garbage as such. So that's a fantastic meal. Never hesitate, get Lithuanian. If they're stored right, even all eat one after a year and a half, you know, beyond Best Buy, perfect. The reason I was okay with that is because when I bought those, they were still within date and I've stored them the best I could. So I'm pretty confident to eat these later on. Um, and for anybody that wants to see these blue tip matches, Tracy, that's how it's done. Thanks for coming, everybody. See you next time.